What is a Conquer Canoe? How do you compete with one? And what are the benefits of joining the Conquer Canoe Club of your school? I'll answer each of these questions in this video, and at the end of the video, I'll tell you why you might not want to join your club. The ASC Concrete Canoe Competition, in short, is a competition where the students design and build a canoe made entirely of concrete that fall within specific guidelines laid out by the ASCE. Each year, these rules are changed to keep the students on their feet. When I competed, the ASCE had recently stopped allowing painting the canoe, so we had to rely solely on colored aggregates to create a design. If you like a somewhat in-depth explanation, made pretty easy, you should watch a video titled ASCE with Bad Drawings, How to Build a Concrete Canoe by Kelly Doyle, linked in the description. The competition is broken down into four components, each worth 25% of an overall grade. The four categories are design paper, oral presentation, final product, and races. The AC has a full rule book that gets changed each year for each aspect of the categories mentioned. Before I give a brief explanation of the four sections, think of the entire competition like a science project in high school, where there are four grading criteria. The design paper, is a written paper explaining the entire process of making your canoe from designing to the final product, while the oral presentation is a visual form of the same information. After the oral presentation, there's a question and answer segment where the judges can ask you about what was just presented. The final product section consists of the actual canoe, the stands, as well as the booth displaying the required information. Lastly are the races. There are two types of races, endurance, where you have to go a specific distance as quick as possible and the best time wins, and sprints, where you race against other schools using a bracket system until one team wins. There is one last endurance race at the end of the competition where there are four people in the canoe, two women and two men. After all the races commence, each team is allocated the points based on where they placed in each race. Now, for each of the four categories, excluding races, which is pretty straightforward, the ASC grades using a deduction system, meaning you start off with 100% of your points and then the judges deduct points for each regulation or rule you didn't comply with. The rules and regulations change with each year, so if you are competing, check that year's PDF linked in the description. There are several benefits to joining the Concrete Canoe team. For starters, it's a great way to meet other engineering students. Another benefit is you can put Concrete Canoe on your resume as a leadership role. Besides the hard skills you learn, such as mixed design, concrete testing, I learned a lot of valuable soft skills. I learned how to meet with deadlines, work within teams, and overcome challenges. These are only a few of the soft skills that I picked up or honed over the course of the competition. At that point as a student, I really didn't have a lot to put on my resume regarding engineering. So this really helped me fill up space and more importantly, gave me talking points to talk about during my interview. Additionally, if your interviewer doesn't know what Concrete Canoe competition is, you now get to sound awesome and explain to them. And if they do know, then it's often a point where you could bond and talk about your experience within the canoe. Ultimately, getting involved with the concrete canoe is a great way to meet new people, learn about new ideas and topics, and spruce up your resume, especially if you're like me and didn't really have a lot of engineering related work to add. Now with the benefits mentioned, here are some reasons why you might not want to join the competition. If your schedule is packed and you're taking classes or you're focused solely on interning, then maybe don't join or take a lesser role in the concrete canoe competition. If you tend to get really stressed during the semester from classes, then joining the concrete canoe is just gonna add more stress and may not be the best. The competition does take up some personal time. So be honest with yourself if you can afford to spend a few hours a week and even more the few weeks leading up to the competition. Personally, I think it's worth joining your local canoe club because of the people you'll meet, the experience you'll get, and the satisfaction of completing a project which to me justifies the effort that you put in throughout the whole semester. This pretty much sums up my experience with the Concrete Canoe competition and why I think you should join. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below as I do try to respond to all comments. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and share it with a friend. Consider subscribing if you're a young civil engineer starting out in the school or in the field. And as always, stay civil.